Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. Uh, today we're going to try to get this Kotlix Mini PC working. So I've already installed most of the software, I think. Um, I've got the ASCOM driver set on there. I've got PHD2. I've got Sequence Generator Pro. Uh, that should be all I need to do. All I need to get going. Uh, I didn't put backyard eels or any of that on there yet, um, since this is just an imaging thing. I should have all the tools I need in SGP. So, um, as you can see, I have up here, it says observatory. Uh, that's the remote desktop profile I created for the Kotlix mini PC and I'm connected to it. If I minimize this, you'll see I'm back to my regular desktop on the laptop. And what I want to watch here is I'm going to connect up everything and hopefully I should have Canon imaging camera, uh, Orion Starshoot guide camera, moonlight autofocuser, and the mount. So let me go connect that up. I will be right back. All right, as you can see, things are starting to connect up. So with any luck, I got everything installed right. Okay, so that probably, those two would be the Moonlight Autofocuser and the Mount. I am not seeing... the Guide Scope. So, I probably need to download drivers for that. So, let me go take a look. All right. So, we've got our auto guider mount, moonlight autofocuser, and our Canon camera. Excellent. So now we are, I've already loaded up PhD2. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Starshoot Auto Guider. Alright, so now my focal length, I'm going to have to go back to my other PC, 240 millimeter, okay, so we'll go back over here, 240, next, mount is... believe that's the one I selected, but let me double check. I may not have installed the drivers. So let me see if I can find those. 
on camera mount. We'll go with that one. Okay. Set this on here. None. And profile name. Expand that out. Let's see if we can connect. And we can. We start looping. What do we get? All right, so that part's working. So I'm not going to worry too much about the layout just yet. All right, so next up, SGP. And first up, our equipment profile manager. So we're going to call this T6I. Moonlight Star Shoot Edge HD Save. Okay, so single image raw. So we're going to come back over here, cancel all that. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to look at, but let's look at this first. Ninety degrees, point three nine, and I want that. Hopefully, I can pass that on. Excellent. Scale is 0 0.39. Angle is 90. Apologies for the sniffles. I'm still a little under the weather. And what else do we need out of this one? High speed download if available. Okay. So before I go any further, there was one thing I wanted to look at. Hysteresis. Okay. Um, no filters, so we got the Moonlight Autofocuser, let's make sure we get that set up the same, 10, 100, Ten one hundred use autofocus sixteen hundred five set all right autofocus every one degree sixty minutes. Okay. 
Okay. Sixty. Zoom there. Six sixteen hundred nine forty five ten five. Yep, that's the same. Okay. What happened? There we go. Yeah, that's definitely not the same. Ten, sixteen, all right, so six, sixteen hundred, nine. Six, sixteen or nine, forty-five, ten, and I thought that was a five. Yes. Five disable. Okay, so that matches now. Telescope. Uh, I'm not seeing Celestron. Telescope driver, okay, should have it, and I don't. Alright, so we are going to save. And let's reopen. There she is. Okay. So set Seconds. Aperture is. Ooh. Okay. I never said that. So that's save that. Leads over two. Let's just double check. All right, so I know the APM is down here. And oh, 
values are there. All right. Ten seconds, six two fifty three. Six two fifty three. Lines over, fail over, yes. All right, we'll save that one. Auto guide, PhD two. PhD two, small dither, every five frames. Seconds. Okay. Save other. We don't have any of that stuff, so we're good. All right. And let me just look at, so we got PhD2, focus control, frame and focus. Just making sure all my stuff is lined up. Okay. Guess I don't need well I'll leave that there. Image history. And I really don't need the pan and zoom. So okay. Maximize that again. under documents Visual list with focal register okay whoops want to go up here and documents SGP Copy as you can see, I've already mapped a drive over, and I want to pull these guys off. All right, so let's pause that for a second. Let's go back over here. And as you can also see, I did install that extra hard drive I had in there. And that is the linked drive. Somewhat. I'm just going to leave that in there for now, I think. We will open. I 
Excellent. And then, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now I just need to figure out what are my targets for tonight. First thing I'm going to want to do though is a frame and focus. So let's go back over here. While that's doing its thing. Ah, much better, much better. Okay. So, now I just got to figure out what my targets for tonight are going to be. So, what did I have? Now, let me bring it up over here. Nice if we could expand this out, but okay, so I'm definitely not doing that one. Uh, pinwheel. It's an open cluster. That's a cluster. That's a cluster. So M thirty two. And we're looking west. That's pretty much already toast for tonight. Uh, fossil Footprint Nebula. NGC 1491. Don't have any data on it, I don't think. Fourteen ninety one, is that correct? Yep. Awesome. We can pretty much go from now until but around two o'clock. Okay. So we'll go 9.50 to 2 a.m. Then we got 19.31. Nineteen thirty-one fly nebula. That's about going to be about the same. Do I have any data on that one yet? And eh, maybe a couple subs. M sixty three. And that one's going to, ooh, 
I might be able to get something in on that one. Starting around 245. So, three o'clock. We'll do three o'clock. Three AM and if we come up here. Okay. Let me look at, what was that other one? 1931. 1931. Yeah. That's a bummer. What else we got going on around here? Something from about two o'clock. Six. Eh, maybe. Do I have that one? Yep, I've already completed that one. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What's that guy? I'm forty. Just a double star. <laughs> Lemon Slice Nebula. Heard of that? That thing's pretty darn small. Uh, let's see. No preview of that one. What's that guy? Al Nubula. I know I've photographed that one. M97. M97. Ah, oh, but I do need more data on it. 
We will go with that one. So let me move that up. And what's my time frame going to be? It's almost the new moon and it doesn't come up until after the imaging session. So that makes for good night for nebulas. So we're looking at uh, roughly five after midnight. Go tell six twenty in the morning. All right, so we go to six twenty. And with any luck, we should. Be set. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and slew now. Yes. And while that's slewing, I want to bring up cameras. And as you can see, it is December 24th, Christmas Eve. So everybody, including myself, has their lights out and about. So, we should be on target now. Take one exposure. Should be at least close. Okay, so I'm not going to auto stretch. So let's go ahead and it's pretty close. And how do I turn that back on? Now let's. Let's run the autofocus routine and see what happens. That's a little more what I'm used to. Ooh. Don't know what happened there. Uh, this new version of SGP's actually got some decent info now. I 
by decent info. I mean, it's got that nice little bell curve, a quality percentage. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at, but just had that one little outlier right about where I needed it to be. Is this looping through again? That's interesting. Uh, I don't know why. But we'll just let it run. See if it gets closer to that 2040. See if we get that outlier again. All right. Not too shabby. So we'll close that. And we should be able to start running our sequence. So let's go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. I completely forgot about PhD2. So, while we are doing that, I like to have my graph up top. Trend lines, no. Corrections, 400. Stats. Targets. Display store profile. Failed to do which, which is fine. I forgot to run the calibration on this guy, so these might be a bit off. So let's see what we end up getting. I should be pretty well polar aligned, so hopefully we won't have too many issues. Alright. So we are framed and focused. We're pretty close to the midpoint of 2000. That's good. Now test is going to be... Did I set plate solver two up correctly? This definitely runs a little bit slower. That's okay.
All right, it says we're centered. So now we're resuming the auto guider. Which means we're calibrating. All right. We are guiding. like we're holding pretty steady we will see what our first frame looks like don't like how that dipped down a little bit but might have to pause after this frame and do a calibration but yeah, that's a lot of motion. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right. That one has completed. A little trailing in the stars there. That's probably that we're guiding. Um, probably going to pause it after this frame and run. Uh, what is that called? Uh, guiding assistant. But I'll see how the next one goes because I think we're pretty, yeah, we're usually when I'm pointed straight up, I get a little bit of, little bit of uh, guiding issues. It'll settle down once, once it gets another frame or two, uh, but I think we can call this a success. Uh, just took a couple hours to get everything set up on the new PC. Uh, that included having to mess with the framing because this is the first night, not the framing, the uh, focusing. Because uh, this is the first night I've been able to image since having, since attempting to put out, put on the OAG. So I knew I'd have to go and redo the focus. Uh, but I am pleasantly pleased so far with this little PC. This little Codlix, Codlix. GN41 mini PC. Uh, hopefully, it lasts through the night, and I will be happy. Right now, it's sitting inside. It's not actually exposed to the weather, uh, but that's okay. That's because we are making sure everything is working and so far it is so uh, yeah and if you noticed I didn't explain it too well uh, I did have my list of targets uh, that I just you know, it, it's a config file that I just copied over. And that'll be nice because then I'll just be able to copy it back if I have any problems with this thing. And run it off my PC or my laptop. So, yeah. That is pretty nice as well. So, we got... Uh, 
87 seconds left. Let's see how this one did. It's a little variation in that tracking, but let's just uh, let's see what we get. Uh, yep. Got some trailing on that one, too. All right. Well, I'm going to have to run that guiding assistant. Or just let it run. See what I am, see where I'm at in another five frames or so. Should start cleaning up a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna run that guiding assistant. So uh yeah. Uh yeah, this is a this was a success. Uh, awesome. So there you there you have it. You know, if you wanna If you want a solution where you don't have to sit out there and you can run it indoors and you don't want to run cables like I was running, a uh, little mini PC that you can put out there might just do the trick. So I hope you guys uh, found this informative and enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, crap, yeah, I'm still kind of sick and a little, a little flabbergasted. This actually worked with minimal issues. So, yeah. All right. Well, I want to say thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, Clear Skies. Remember to.